Hi, my name is Nicole Solano. I'm the executive editor at Rutgers University Press for the Film and Media Studies list. Welcome to our virtual booth for SCMS 2021. I'm sorry we aren't able to meet in person this year, and I look forward to being able to meet in person sometime soon. In the meantime, I hope you and your loved ones are staying healthy and well. Below this video on our website, you'll find our latest books in all areas of film studies. Click on any book cover to be taken to the books page to learn more about each title. We're offering a conference discount, which you're welcome to use to receive 30% off on any Rutgers University Press titles. You'll also find the code below this video on the website. For those of you who may not be familiar with the breadth of the film studies list at Rutgers University Press, I'd like to give a brief overview of the areas in which we publish, mention some of our key film and media studies series, and highlight a few recent and forthcoming titles that will give you a sense of the current focus of our list. We have several important film studies series, including the Global Film Director series, edited by Homer Petty and Barton Palmer. The series explores cinematic innovations by prominent and emerging directors from around the globe. It addresses the history of a director's work and its influence on defining new cinematic genres, narrative, and techniques. We're really excited to share the release of the first two titles in the series, the films of Dennis Arkan and the films of Bong Joon-ho. Our Global Media and Race series is edited by Frederick Louis Aldama. Books in this series consider how race and intersectional identities more generally is constructed in front of the camera and behind, considering issues of representation, consumption, and the making of racialized and anti-racist media, from script to production to policy. Some of the titles in this series include A Mexican State of Mind, New York City and the New Borderlands of Culture, The Latinx Files, Race Migration and Space Aliens, and Indigenous Peoples Rise Up, The Global Ascendancy of Social Media Activism. We also have the Screening Sports series, edited by Lester Friedman and Aaron Baker, which focuses on the relationship between sports, film, and digital media platforms, and social and cultural issues. Our Media Matters series is edited by Patrice Petro and Christina Venegas and focuses on film, television, and media within a transnational and interdisciplinary frame. Techniques of the Moving Image is a series edited by Murray Pomerantz. Volumes in this series explore the relationship between what we see on screen and the technical achievements undertaken to make this possible. Some of the technical achievements covered include cinematography, direction, acting, lighting, costuming, set design, scripting, sound design, and editing. And lastly, our Quick Takes Movies and Popular Culture series is edited by Gwendolyn Audrey Foster and Winston Wheeler Dixon. This series offers succinct overviews on cutting edge themes and issues in film and media studies. Authors offer both fresh perspectives on new areas of inquiry and original takes on established topics. Some of the titles covered include Disney Culture, Zombie Cinema, Film Remakes and Franchises, Transgender Cinema, and the forthcoming title, Star Wars Multiverse. In addition to our series, a few recent and forthcoming standalone titles that highlight the current focus of the list are Before Bemberg, Women Filmmakers in Argentina, written by Matthew Lasada which looks at the work of Argentine women filmmakers through an examination of the six sound features directed by women before 1980. The book recognizes these filmmakers' contribution at a significant moment in which movements to eliminate gender-based oppression and violence in Argentina and elsewhere are surging. Broadcasting Hollywood, the struggle over feature films on early TV is written by Jennifer Porst and uses extensive archival research to analyze the tensions and synergies between the film and television industries in the early years of television. The films of Bong Joon-ho is written by Nam Lee and reveals that even as Bong Joon-ho has emerged as a major global auteur with works like Snowpiercer and the Oscar-winning Parasite, his films hybridize Hollywood conventions with local realities to engage with distinctly Korean social and political contexts that may elude some Western viewers. Hollywood at the Intersection of Race and Identity is edited by Delia Consett and examines intersectional identities of race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, class, and nationality in Hollywood cinema. Stanley Kubrick Produces by James Fenwick examines Kubrick's role as a producer. With the use of neglected archival resources, the book makes the case for how Kubrick's centralizing of power in his role as a producer became a self-defeating strategy by the 1980s and 90s, one that led him to struggle to move projects out of development and into active production. Star Wars Multiverse by Carmelo Estrich draws from a full range of Star Wars media, including comics, television, children's books, and fan films to explore 
How these stories set in a galaxy far, far away actually reflect issues that hit much closer to home on topics like authoritarianism, colonialism, xenophobia, sexuality, and gender norms. And finally, Women Make Horror, Filmmaking, Feminism, and Genre is edited by Alison Pierce. It studies women practitioners in the film industry and sets right the assumptions about women and the horror genre. It explores narrative and experimental cinema, short anthology and feature filmmaking, and offers case studies of global filmmakers, films, and festivals. As you can see just from this list, we publish widely in film and media studies. I'm interested in projects that take comparative, historical, critical, and interdisciplinary approaches to film studies, particularly those projects that tackle issues of inequities in race, class, and gender. I would love to speak with you if you're working on a project that may fall into any of these areas. Below this video, you'll find a link to a form you can complete if you'd like to meet with me virtually. I'll then follow up with you to schedule a meeting. I look forward to speaking with you about your project, what you think of our books, and how you see the field of film studies developing. So please do get in touch. Thank you and hope to see you soon.